From the Tribune News Network, this is Newsbreak. I'm Kirk Smith. Friday's top story says House members continue to debate on the mid-year budget report. Looks like a showdown of sorts could be coming between House Speaker Moultrie and the government side soon. The Speaker says he's considering ordering a Prime Minister's question and answer period in the House, but the Leader of Government Business, Health Minister Wells, tells the media... The Speaker doesn't have the authority to do that by the rules. Minister Wells says the Speaker does not set the House rules, the members do. The Speaker and the government side at odds over a number of issues over time, and he's since resigned from the free national movement. Meantime, National Security Minister James is defending that decision announced this week to extend the assignments of three high-ranking police officers They've been sent to various ministries. These ministries are in need of of significant help in terms of safety and security. We felt that within the police force, who's charged with that responsibility, that they could bring to bear the experience to assist these very key ministries. The lawyer for the officers, Queen's Counsel Wayne Monroe, has this view on those reassignments. Clearly remember now, this was taking place, all of this debacle was taking place after Hurricane Dorian during the pandemic, when we were told that there was shortage of police manpower resources. So one wonders how you justify um, this de- these deployments. This is news break from the Tribune News Network. A reminder that the coronavirus hasn't gone away. Ministry of Health officials reporting 27 confirmed cases for Wednesday spread over six islands. Both Grand Baham and the capital reporting seven cases each. Fifteen persons are now in hospital being treated, one in the ICU. And while they wait for the vaccine to get here, there's another warning from health officials for the public. Do not let your guards down. Trade Union Congress officials are concerned that severance payouts to recently released Malaya resort workers may have been underpaid. A major ruling could be coming from the Court of Appeals in time, the court meeting to decide on a ruling made by Supreme Court Justice Ian Winder earlier, which says that children born out of wedlock to foreign women and Bahamian men are citizens at birth and do not have to wait until 18 to make a decision. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper on the streets first thing in the morning. Stay up to date online at tribune 242 Dot com. Now the Tribune's AccuWeather update, a service of insurance management. Another frontal system is approaching from the north. There will be associated weather over the weekend. Partly cloudy today. Showers are likely. Highs from the mid-70s to low 80s. 77 at Freeport. 77 in the capital. 81 at Matthew Town. No marine advisories. Winds generally 10 to 15 knots. The seas 2 to 4 feet. Low tide now. The next high around 3 this afternoon. Party cloudy skies expected tonight. Lows from the mid-60s to low 70s. For complete weather information, check the Tribune's weather page. For your insurance needs, call Insurance Management. They offer a wide range of insurance products. Give them a call today for all of your insurance needs. With more than 40 years in business, nobody does it better than insurance management. Let's get the weekend started. The weekend, published every Friday in the Tribune, has the hottest news in fashion, music tips, the who's who on the red carpet, your must-try restaurants and hotspots, and of course, what to wear when you step out. Catch up on the latest film reviews or be thrilled with exciting tales from Bahamian history. There's only one place to find everything you need to plan your perfect weekend in Friday's Tribune. Pick up your copy of the weekend every Friday. The Tribune, the people's paper, biggest and best. Friday's World News headlines, a major earthquake hit the area of the North New Zealand Island yesterday, triggering tsunami warnings for that area. The quick measured 8.1 on the Richter scale, damage assessment continues. Despite an increasing death toll, protesters in Myanmar continue to turn out. Thousands more in the streets of the country's major cities again today, protesting the military coup there. The U.S. now calling for the military government to release journalists and protesters they've taken into custody. Pope Francis now in Iraq on a visit that is believed to be dangerous. Britain's Prince Philip has had a heart procedure and will remain in hospital for several more days. Tribune's gas tracker prices heading into the weekend. Shell 452, SO442, Rubus $4.39 per gallon in the capital. Now your sports notes brought to you by the Tribune Sports Section. Both Buddy Heal and DeAndre Aiden in action in the NBA last night. Last games before Sunday's All-Star game. Aiton had 11 points, 10 rebounds in a Phoenix win over Golden State. 
The Suns are 24 and 11, and they're in first place in the Pacific Division heading into the break. Heal had 22 points last night against Portland, but the Kings lost again. They're in last place in that same division. Get the latest on Major League Baseball spring training games. And in the Tribune Weekend Edition, read about Georgette Rowe and how she's making history in golf. For all of your sports details, you want to check the Tribune Sports section. Everything you need from the world of sports, you'll find in the Tribune Sports. And that's your news break. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper on the streets first thing in the morning. Stay up to date online all day at Tribune 242.